Hello, and welcome to the conference. My name is Robert Dean. I'm a professor in the Auburn University Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering in Auburn, Alabama, USA. So let me start our presentation. Our paper is titled Optimizing Fringing Field Sensor Performance with Non-Spherical Particles. I want to recognize my co-authors, my graduate student, Mariah Reed, and my colleague, Beth Girdle. IDE fringing field capacitive sensors are useful for measuring parameters such as moisture content. On the right is a drawing of a typical IDE sensing structure and an equation that models the sensing capacitance is shown up under it. Sometimes the item that's being investigated by the sensor is a quantity of discrete particles. Applications might include measuring the moisture content of sand, of various grains, of wood chips, et cetera. If particle size is similar to the size of the IDE sensing structures, then the object's arrangement around the sensor can affect sensor performance. Non-spherical particles have a tendency to arrange in an orientation that minimizes their potential energy. This results in a maximization of the object's surface area along the bottom horizontal layer. This is illustrated in the drawing on the right that models a, an abundant, a, a quantity of, of non-spherical objects being poured into a container. Our modeling predicted that optimal sensor performance could be achieved when the sensor is in contact with the maximum amount of object surface area. And that tends to occur at the bottom horizontal plane of the container of objects. Capacitive bridging field sensors have been used to measure the moisture content of corn kernels. Corn kernels, as shown in the, in the photograph of a corn kernel on the right, are highly non-spherical and, and come in a wide variety of shapes and sizes. Our model predicted that a horizontally mounted capacitive fringing field sensor could be 1.36 times more sensitive than when it was mounted vertically. To investigate this, we developed a, a capacitive fringing field sensor and printed circuit board technology, um, as shown in the photograph of the sensor on the right. The IDE sensing structure is shown in the white square on the right of a sensor photograph. It consisted of an IDE with 83 electrode pairs reach um, IDE tooth is 152.4 microns wide. A gap of 304.8 microns existed between adjacent IDE teeth in each pair. The IDE structure was covered with a layer of polymeric solder mass, which formed a, a sufficient moisture barrier over the sensor. On the left side of the photograph shows an SMA connector that was used to easily connect the sensor to laboratory instrumentation. On this slide, the, the test data is presented. On the right, there is a plot of the change in sensor capacitance versus moisture content uh, for the case when the sensor was mounted horizontally at the bottom of a beaker of corn kernels, and also when it was mounted vertically on the side of the beaker of corn kernels. Uh, for this test, we evaluated the sensor both horizontally and vertically in corn kernels that had a moisture content that ranged from 10.63% to 29.27%. The horizontally mounted sensor was shown to be 2.33 times more sensitive than it was mounted vertically in the corn, which is actually more than the model predicted. And we think that increase was due to the fact the model did not account for voice between corn, corn, uh, corn kernels. I want to thank you for watching our presentation. I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference.